Spaghetti and meatballs. No meat, no spaghetti, but absolutely delicious. Chef Aida shows us how. So it's going to start with, well, it's actually not spaghetti. You see, it's spaghetti squash. You're just going to go ahead and cut this in half and then scrape out the insides. And um, if you haven't seen spaghetti squash before, the reason it's called that is because after we roast it, we're going to go ahead and kind of take a fork to it and it will split up into little strands that really truly do look like spaghetti. It takes fabulously to all kinds of sauces, especially the classic tomato sauce. So just go ahead and scrape this out and then get your oven going to 375. Okay, so just give a little drizzle of some olive oil on this. It's uh, a lot heart healthier. Throw out some salt on here and a little bit of pepper. This is going to go into the oven. So the meatballs are actually not in fact meatballs at all. What I've done is started with um, a mushroom base, onions, and some quinoa. So first step, let's get all of these veggies prepped. And then just go ahead and take an onion. And you're just going to want to finely chop this. So to get this started, a little bit of olive oil in the pan, these onions in here. And I know a lot of recipes call for adding your onion and your garlic at the same time. I actually like to do them separately so that you don't burn the garlic because the minute that garlic's burnt, it just really gives it a bitter flavor. And as soon as that starts to get fragrant, you can move on and add in a little bit of thyme. There's a lot of herbs in here so that you can really have a good amount of flavor. Okay, so just give this thyme a little chop to bring out its flavor. Add this to the pan. Just give it a stir. And you wanna cook this all over about medium heat and then time to add in these mushrooms. You want this to get really nice and golden brown right here because, again, these mushrooms are really bringing the flavor. So the next step to this is going to be a little bit of some tomato paste. And the thing about tomato paste is you don't want it to burn because, like the garlic, it'll make things bitter if it burns. So just kind of move it around a little bit. This is where you can stir. You're basically trying to cook off that raw flavor of tomato but not really overcook it and we're gonna just kind of bind it all together with some quinoa. In fact, I've already cooked it. So add this to your quinoa. This needs to cool off a little bit because our binding agent for these meatballs is going to be eggs. And if we add eggs now, it might turn into some kind of weird scramble, so let's let that do its thing. And in that time, we can work on the tomato sauce. This tomato sauce is like as basic as it gets. So you can totally put jazz hands on it and add any little frills you want. I use onions in this one because, well, we already used half the onions in the meatballs. Let's just use the rest of that onion, right? So go ahead and heat up a small saucepan like this and then some good olive oil. So this olive oil is heating up. Then we're gonna add in the onions. You can hear them sizzling then. So that's the way you know that your pan's actually well heated. Go ahead and stir them to coat them in the oil, and then salt and pepper. Okay, you just want a splash of some red wine and let that cook off. You can kind of smell it evaporating. And we're gonna add in some strained tomatoes. So you just wanna add a pinch of sugar to it. This is just gonna simmer away about 10 more minutes, and in the meantime, we can work on the meatballs. This is a third a cup of some grated Parmesan. Okay, we're gonna add in about a half cup of some whole wheat breadcrumbs, and you can just stir those in. And then you're gonna want two eggs. Go ahead and lightly beat these so that they're easier to incorporate. This is the complicated part. Stay with me, you stir. We just added a, a third of a cup of finely chopped fresh Italian parsley. And go ahead and add a little salt and pepper. If you're a big baker, you might have something like this on hand. Go ahead and measure these out. Give them a nice little roll. You're gonna make about 30, say, and then throw them in the oven until they are just warmed through, getting a little bit brown. That'll take about 15, maybe 20 minutes. All right, check this out. This is exactly what I want it to be looking like. It is, it's nice and golden brown. 
So you can take this, and all we've got to do now is just scrape it right into its serving bowl. In the meantime, we're going to throw the meatballs into the oven. They'll cook about 15 minutes until they just start to get brown and are warmed through. Okay, so we can just plate it up now. We've got these spaghetti squash, and as you can see, they really, truly look like spaghetti. Let's go ahead and run a fork across them. Okay, put that there. And as you can see, this makes a fair amount of spaghetti squash spaghetti. Let's check on those meatballs. Right, that's exactly how you want them looking, where they're just a little bit browned and they're, you know, that egg flavor, it's cooked through and it's got a real nice melding of the flavors. So you could actually plate this up into individual servings and then put your meatballs or just put them on top on your big dish. And really, truly, I mean, they look pretty close but they're 100% meatless. Last thing is the saucing. So I like to just kind of, you know, pour it over the top, be a little generous. You could even go ahead and finish this off with some Parmesan cheese. So sprinkle that on top, be a little more indulgent. Check this out, spaghetti and meatballs with absolutely no meat. I know you're gonna love it. Ready, set, cook. Subscribe or watch another recipe rehab how-to video right now. And check out What the Heck Are You Eating? Where Joy Bauer breaks down the good and the bad in your favorite foods.